Your brain lives 15 seconds in the past to help you see the world with stability. I'll wait. Take your time. That in a report at Study Finds, where we invite you to like and subscribe for the latest information. Researchers from the University of California, Berkeley, discovered that the human brain does this instead of trying to update your vision in real time. I mean, your brain is a 24-7 image processor, and that's a lot of data. Scientists say our brain does that to keep everything in order, so to speak, kind of like a social media feed. I feel like I've just been insulted. <laughs> The findings provide new insight into what scientists call the mind's continuity field, a function of perception where the brain merges with what our eyes see to provide a sense of stability. Without it, study authors say the world would actually appear like a blurry jumble in your eyes. Researchers studied this time-traveling effect of the brain by examining the mechanisms of what's called change blindness. This is when people fail to notice subtle changes which take place over time. Like when a TV show switches out an actor for their stunt double. The team recruited nearly 100 people to view close-up images of faces, which changed according to their ages and gender. The time-lapse video lasted for just 30 seconds and only included a person's eyes, brows, nose, mouth, chin, and cheeks. Not their head or facial hair. You're seeing the videos here, and we'll run them at the end so you can give it a try without me flapping my jaws. When researchers asked each participant to identify the faces they saw in the video, the group almost always picked a frame that was halfway through the time-lapse aging video. UC Berkeley professor David Whitney said, quote, One could say our brain is procrastinating. It's too much work to constantly update images so it sticks to the past because the past is a good predictor of the present. We recycle information from the past because it's faster, more efficient, and less work, unquote. <laughs> that sounds like me. Scientists say this is not always a good thing. Assistant Professor Moro Manassi of Scotland's University of Aberdeen warns, quote, For example, radiologists screen for tumors and surgeons need to be able to see what's in front of them in real time. If their brains are biased to what they saw less than a minute ago, they might miss something. <laughs> Gee, thanks for that bit of encouraging news. Okay, we're going to run these videos full length at the end, but I want to remind you to find more details on this and other studies at studyfinds.com.